the color of your mr p can vary from skin color to skin color it can sometimes be pure pink black blue and even purple and we all know that mr p is the male reproductive organ that is if you do not know hi loves and welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe like and leave your comments if you're an old subscriber thanks love for coming back for this one and thanks for always being here with me there are a lot more videos you can choose from for my video i think 93 videos that you can choose from let's just get right into the video without like wasting much time for the um colors that we have when it comes to the p okay number one is the light brown boss okay so this one has to do with like your skin color okay i you know from the starting i said that um the colors the first forms um skin skin color to skin color so that's actually number one it's because of your skin color that gives you the color of your pee that you have and as i said it might be pink it might be blue it might be purple but then whatever color that you have doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your mr p whether it's blue it's pink it's purple it's black it's mild pink it's deep pink they all function beautifully and they are all beautiful number two the reddish warrior when it comes to the reddish warrior actually with that one you know when you see your mr p stand like when it's erect and standing blood runs i mean the whole point is blood running through to making it get up okay to making it erect so that blood that flows through your pee or that flows through your body to your mr p is what sometimes actually alters the color of your pee to be probably pink red or blue or purple all comes back to your skin color sometimes for instance very fair people because they are really fair you can actually see sometimes see their um blood when it's running through it's not that visible but when you look closely it's more like pink light pink or pure pink so that is how come when like um a very fair person is erect you can see his mr p as light pink or as deep pink or as purple yes and a black person might not be seen too much or a black person might be seen as purple if you haven't watched it i don't know your skin color but if whatever skin color that you have anytime that you are erect you can actually check and see yeah so with that one it has to do with the blood that flows through your veins that's how come you have that color you have when your pee is erect number three the pale sort so as i said that when you are erect you have a different one sometimes when you are not erect also comes with a different color not everybody do but then that one the pale sword actually has to do with your sex hormones okay the level of hormones in our bodies for example testosterone or the um i estrogen or estrogen estrogen whatever you guys call it whatever pronunciation that you call it actually regulates our melanocytes it regulates our melano our melanocyte cells that actually gives us that pale sword color these are the cells in our skin and our hair that actually releases our melanin for the protein pigments that we need in our bodies or produces the protein pigments which are responsible for our skin color and it actually builds up when we reach puberty from puberty going it actually builds up it shoots up testosterone and estrogen or estrogen actually shoots up whenever we reach puberty i mean not me but the guys reach puberty that is why there are whatever color that you have for instance in girls the um color around our nipples for guys the color around their nipples for guys the color around their pee that 
is responsible for altering whatever color that you see in our intimate parts of our bodies number four the ninth ninja so some guys are like worried or they get worried because the head of their mr p actually has a different color from the whole p which is not more which is not like a big deal at all because sometimes those tiny vessels around the head of our piece blood flows to them as well especially when it's erect that particular place the head of the pea actually has a lot of vessels than you think running through the whole pea so sometimes there are a lot of blood flowing through that place than the whole pea because that is what how should i say that is the head of it so the color of the glands or the color of the head of the pea that you are seeing has nothing to do with your health actually it just represents that there is a lot of blood flow through or yes through that part that's the glands so do not be alarmed by it often when it's erect it has red, a red color a pink color and sometimes purple so there's nothing to be alarmed about number five the chocolate lava so even though that the change all these colors the pink the purple has nothing ill to do with your penis or anything doesn't mean that sometimes you are healthy or your pee is all right so let's say for instance the color of um one side of your pee turns from the normal color that you have to a different color or there are certain parts of your pee that has changed from its normal color to a different color or your whole pee just change color without any warning that is a sign of imbalance in the body and when i'm talking of imbalance i'm talking of diabetes or probably sexually transmitted diseases in that case you should be alarmed and that is when you have to or go and see your doctor about whatever is going on in with your pee probably you might not be so sure but each and every time it's not only about the knocking okay you have to um how do i say you have to like make sure you're cleaning your pee massaging it i haven't still brought the gel can out but i will but you have to be massaging it and keeping it clean from time to time it's not only about you knocking girls with it okay even though that is what it is about but please be safe whenever you see any changes with your pee in color that it wasn't there in the first place all of a sudden please go and see a doctor or whoever takes care of the pee number six the gray eagle so with this one this manifests with like purple or reddish sauce saw like a saw sauce around or any part of your pee it causes small patches of darkened skin to appear on either the shaft or the head of the pea they may usually appear as um white spot hematoma if you have this particular dots and what have you that you do not know where it's coming from i would advise you to go and see your urologist usually feels bumpy with reddish or purplish color and it's usually a little bit raised above your normal skin but also it depends on the severity of it which can make it a little bit more lumpy or normal but whatever um, um case that it is whatever you especially with that type of um the gray eagle on your pee please go and see your urologist don't wait don't say oh maybe it came today so then 
let's just see maybe for some one month or some one week let's see if it will go and don't self treat yourself please go and see your urologist that very moment before you lose your pee number seven is the orange vikings let me not forget that um or let me not forget to mention contacts dermatitis it actually happens um to the p especially through um latex condoms okay so anytime you wear a condom and you feel that or after whatever you do you remove it and then you realize that your p is itchy it's um itchy and it feels sore it's and and not just like um a changing color to be red but it really hurts that bad sometimes when you're peeing the um around the head actually really hurts that bad which is accompanied by itching and soreness and uncomfortableness please go and check go to the hospital and check with the urologist there are a lot of people that feel like it's okay it's just one time i use the condom so it doesn't really matter if it's itching i'll just wash it away and then like it'll be okay it doesn't work like that you always have to like see a doctor for it every time don't assume we hear about how um women actually deals with like insecurities when it comes to their bodies they don't have the right shape they're too fat they're too slim the tummy is too big they are they don't eat too well and you know the insecurities goes on and on you don't have big boobs you don't have small boobs they have like big ass they have small ass and everyone is judging everybody's being judgmental that's the same way guys are like when it comes to their mr p okay it's it's that's the one thing they can use to have fun so imagine if they have a problem with it they tend to be like reserved and not want to be with girls because they have this problem and everything so if you do not want to have this problem and you don't you do not want to have all these insecurities going around in your head and you're going on going from hospital to hospital whenever you see a change that happens to your people please go and see your, your doctor first your urologist first before any other thing be safe out there for instance with guys when they have a problem with their pee that is it you can't reproduce you can't um handle a girl in bed and everything so the moment you see any problem with your mr p please go to the hospital and i just want to say to all my guys out there that you guys are all kings despite your whatever you're going through your insecurities and everything it's okay to talk to somebody i mean it's okay to open your insecurities out to the one you are with it makes you a little more hotter than you were so i don't i mean if you can't handle it on your own or everything on your own you can i'm sure you should get somebody to talk to probably a doctor or somebody you trust but all the same just be safe take care of yourselves and these are the seven colors so if you see any changes in them or if you have all these ones that have normal ones I don't think you have any problem to worry about. I'll see you in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments. And my name is Ajwa, and you are watching Ages World. Bye.